Hey folks, I'm Giovanni, and in this video, I'm going to give you nine tips for social media marketing beginners. So I've been doing the social media thing for quite a while. And if there's anything that I've learned over the years, it's that leveraging the power of earned media via all kinds of content, including text and photos and audio and video, coupled with just a small bit of strategic social ads, will help increase your audience and your client base quickly. I know this now, but when I was starting out with no insight and no experience, it was pretty hard. Today, it's exponentially harder. So I'm here to give you some insight so that you don't have to learn the hard way the way that I did. Tip number one, concentrate. It's far better to focus on a single area of content than to become a jack of all trades. A highly focused social media marketing strategy meant to grow a powerful brand has a greater opportunity for success than a comprehensive strategy that tries to be everything to all people. When you try to be everything to everyone, you end up being nothing to anyone. Tip number two, listen, talk, repeat. Success on social media and with content promotion in general requires a lot of listening and a lot of talking. But you need to look at your intended audience's content and engage in discussions to learn about what's important to them. Your goal when you're talking on social media is to produce content and spark conversations that include topics that are interesting to your audience in order to generate value as opposed to just creating clutter. Tip number three, be patient. Social media marketing does not happen in overnight, in spite of what you think. It's just as probable that you will be an overnight success as it is that you capture lightning in a bottle. Nothing in this world is easy. Everything that's easy either doesn't last, it isn't worth it, or both. You gotta put in the blood, sweat, and tears if you're gonna be successful with this. Tip number four, aggregate your content. You've got to produce high quality content in order to build an online audience of high caliber followers. If you do that, they will share it with and discuss it with their fans on Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, on their own websites, and in all kinds of places. This sharing and talking about your content will open up new doors for search engines like Google so searchers can find your content in keyword searches. Those interest points on the search engines may grow to dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of more ways for folks to find you online. Tip number five, bring the quality. Quality trumps quantity every single time. Unfortunately, this is why I produce more photos and videos and why I don't write very often. I've never been happy with the quality of my articles. It's important for you to be honest with yourself about where your strengths and weaknesses are. Exploit your strengths and improve upon or abandon the things that you're not good at. And you need to know that it's okay to not be good at everything. I know it looks like everyone is, but they're not. It's more important to be excellent at one or a few things than to be above average at a lot of things. It's far better to have followers discuss, browse, share, and talk about your work right after they first see it rather than having your followers ignore you or worse, stop following you altogether because you're clogging up their inboxes and their feeds with, with, with low quality content that they just don't care about. Tip number six, bring value. You've got to treat the value of the information that you share similarly to the way that you treat the quality of your content. Deliver value. Not constant information about you. If you invest all your time in social media directly promoting your services and products, people are gonna stop listening to you and stop watching. You've gotta add value. Focus on generating content that is amazing, that entertains, that informs people, that educates people. That's what people are craving. Tip number seven, give back. You cannot expect other people to share your content and talk about you if you don't do the exact same thing for them. You're going to have to spend time focusing on talking about people and the content they create if you want those people to connect with you and share your content with all their followers. Tip number eight, acknowledge other people online. 
To be painfully obvious, I'm just not a very social person in real life. I know that's ironic considering what I do. But even so, I wouldn't ignore somebody who reaches out to me in the real world, and I certainly don't discount them whenever they're reaching out to me online. Building relationships is among the most crucial aspects of social media marketing. So acknowledging people who reach out to you is critical. Give them high praise when they deserve it and respond to their questions when they ask them. It's pretty simple. Tip number nine, influencers. You gotta find influencers to connect with. Spend time discovering those online, the influencers online in your marketplace and in your industry. I'm pretty analog when it comes to managing the accounts for my clients, even though I've got an Excel spreadsheet where I track all of the influencers for the brands I work with, who has quality viewers, who have quality content, and the ones that are most likely to be interested in the products and services and the companies that I work with. I connect with these individuals and create relationships not only online, but I also reach out in real life and I do that whenever it's possible. It's probably one of the most important and probably one of the most valuable things that I bring to the table for my clients. You need to do the same thing. You've got to create relationships with influencers in your space and in the spaces where you want to do business. With time, and this again, this is not an overnight thing, it takes time, these folks are going to grow to be a catalyst for marketing for your business. Should you get on the radar of an influencer as an authoritative, interesting you know, person, someone who's, who brings helpful info for them, they might share your content to their own followers, which can introduce you and your company to a massive new audience. All right, that's it for now, but I've got a quick favor to ask you. As I make this video, it's the beginning of 2019, and after being on YouTube since 2007, I'm starting over here. Why? Well, it's going to seem weird to a lot of folks, but it's a way for me to test myself, you know, to keep the saw sharp, so to speak. Several years ago, I stopped using Facebook personally. Along with that, every year for several years now, I delete all of my followers on Twitter and Instagram in December, and I start over. This forces me to eat my own dog food as a social media marketer if I want to stay relevant. This year, I've decided to add YouTube to the mix. I've deleted my previous YouTube account along with all the videos and all the subscribers, and I'm starting over from zero. So now I'm in full get more subscribers mode to kick off this new channel. I need your help because I can't even get my own name until I get at least 100 subscribers. If you could, please click the like button on this video. That's going to help it get shared more. If you have a few extra seconds, head over to my account and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. That would help me out a lot. All right, for sticking around, I'll give you one more bonus tip. Be consistent. Don't publish your content and then vanish. You've got to be available. This means that you want to publish content and take part in conversations on a regular basis. You don't have to have a strict schedule, but your followers need to be able to count on you to be there whenever they expect you to be there. It's up to you to set the schedule, but once you set that expectation, you've got to follow through. Followers can be very fickle, and they're not going to be afraid to replace you in their feed whenever you disappear for weeks or months at a time. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.